there's a lot of invisible pains that you deal with as a cardiac arrest survivor. You feel them, but no one sees them. Yeah. Only the people yeah. really close to you, like your wife or, or children. Yeah, that's, exactly. That, yeah. That, that's what we also, we often discuss that because uh, also in my case, at one end, you have the cardiac arrest. On the other end, I have the cardiac um, situation. So in my case, it's dilated cardio, cardiomyopathy. Yeah. Um, I know that there isn't a cure for it. So that's also something you have to cope with. You have to handle with that situation. And yes, you have medicine and yes, you have um, ICD or CRTD. Mm -hmm. um, but in the end, uh, when I compare it to, to my cancer diagnosis, for example, yeah. um, I have testicular cancer and I had surgery and uh, chemotherapy. But uh, the, the, my perspective was quite positive compared to many other cancer types. This type of cancer is uh, very well treatable. Yeah. Not yeah. sure if that's correct English, but yeah. in the case of my heart condition, uh, I know that this they cannot treat it or they can limit the impact, uh, yeah. of course, but uh, they there's it. no cure for it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, actually, this is interesting. So, yeah. Of course, I mean, I don't know if it's even if you can even compare it, but compared to cancer, how was the cardiac arrest? Was it a lot more in, in challenging? My case, um, it's probably different yeah. challenges, right? But yeah, to, to be honest, uh, and of course, uh, the, the um, I am very well aware that testicular cancer is a type of cancer that uh, has a very positive outcome compared to many other various forms of cancer. Um, I did have the uh, the type of testicular cancer that Lance Armstrong has was, it was quite aggressive. Ah, yeah. uh, so I had the, uh, the, the, I believe it was 2012 chemotherapy surgery and it was very hard. But I, compared to my uh, heart disease, this is way, uh, way more challenging. And I, I'm not sure why, but it's also maybe because I, I'm a father now. So mm. at that time, I was a young adult. I see. Of course, wanting to have kids if it was possible, but now you're a father. So you have also another mm. uh, responsibility, of course. So yeah, yeah. that gives us somewhat more emotional challenge, I believe. Yeah. Do you feel compared to cancer that there is less awareness to cardiac arrests or is it pretty much the same in some um, Cause that's, I mean, I never had cancer, right? So I can't truly yeah. say, but I uh, feel when I, I, I tell think, people, yeah. when I tell people about a cardiac arrest, many don't know yeah. what it is. No, I, I recognize that because many people uh, see a cardiac arrest the same as a heart attack, for yeah, example. Yeah, exactly. so yeah, exactly. I, I saw a former colleague and he told me, yeah, my neighbor, he also had a, a, a the same as you and he was there for 24 hours. I thought now I think that is <laughs> something different. No, so in, in that, that way, uh, cardiac arrest, uh, and people, uh, and, and me too, to be honest, uh, before this situation, I didn't see the difference between a heart attack and a cardiac arrest. Uh, I thought it was the same, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So uh, answering your question, uh, in the Netherlands, both cancer and heart conditions or cardiac diseases they got, got a lot of attention. Okay. So, um, uh, but specifically for the cardiac arrest thing, that's something people, uh, yeah, they do not do not know many uh, about it uh, until they really, or they, when they have someone in their, yeah, or a relative or family or someone they know very well had the same then, of course. Mm -hmm. But uh, at our age, yeah. Uh, most of our friends and family, uh, they are not really well aware.